Good morning, or well, good morning from here anyway. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We're out here at, I believe it's called Cal Oaks Skate Park. Pretty interesting looking park. There's a massive fence around it with some spikes. Check it out. Massive fence that people can get impaled on if they try to climb or jump over. A lot of parks in California are like this. They have fences around them because they close at a certain time. I think it's to stop people hanging out at night. Really strange for me to see because we don't really have this kind of thing happening in Australia. Our parks are pretty open all the time. There is a gate right here but it seems to be locked. Hoping I can find a way in without having to jump over this fence because I don't want to have to jump this fence because there's spikes on it and I don't want to get impaled by anything here because, uh, yeah, there's no Medicare in America. <laughs> Is there a way in? Is there a way in? Oh, I think we, we've managed to find a way into this park, guys. Right here. Alright guys, now we're in this park. Quick first impressions, pretty interesting. Um, I do like these ledges here behind me, these curved ledges. Kind of reminds me a bit of that spot in San Francisco. I think it's near the wharf maybe. See how it kind of has this curved ledge of that bar rail thing at the top. It reminds me of that spot in San Francisco. I don't know what it might be called. I think it was in a Tony Hawk's game one time. Got some more ledges here happening. Good height, good height to learn on. It's like a little step up ledge here. These curved ledges we just talked about. What else do we got going on here? Um, some more curved ledges. Oh. A set of stairs with a massive hover. Drops off the end here. How many stairs is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A really steep roll in. A roll in here in the corner. Opens up to this kind of fun box area here with another hubber um, a box here on top another big ledge a curved flat bar which is interesting I've never seen a curved flat bar before I've seen curved round bars before but not a flat bar square sorry a square flat bar that is curved I don't know what's going on guys but I can't talk proper English today I'm not too sure what's happening I hope this park's open because there's a couple of city workers that might get kicked out but uh, there's no sign saying the park's closed, so fingers crossed. A massive, I feel like that's like eight foot, massive eight foot quarter pipe. I'm not too sure why they would need a quarter this big for this size of park. Um, another quarter here. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another seven set with a down rail and a really steep hubber. Another hubber on the other side with a roll in here. Fair few skate parks over here in the States, or at least California, they'll have like a baseball field and then like some tennis courts or some basketball courts or a volleyball court <laughs> and then a skate park so it'll all be in the one sporting complex which uh yeah we don't really get that in australia so it's pretty interesting to see
I've been been getting the hell beat out of me today uh, <laughs> on that rail. How sketchy is that square curved rail? It should be round. Round is I prefer skating round rails compared to square rails because I don't know. I just feel like they're more predictable, whereas square rail it can be quite unpredictable, especially if it's curved. Oh my god. Excuse the bad skating guys, I'm still getting used to uh, being over here and skating and stuff. Still finding my skate legs. Just wrapping up the session right now guys. Felt super rusty, but like I said, I'm trying to find my skate legs out here. Being in a new environment, I'm kind of like, I feel like a cat. I'm like <laughs> super timid and stuff, but hopefully soon I'll be able to get back into my normal flow. Ate a bunch of um, crap skating just now, but I feel like it's good to take a good slam every now and then skating kind of humbles you out a bit and you can work from there. But yeah, I'm about to dip from this park right now. Had a super fun session, met some people. Kind of different being in a park or caged off like that. It kind of felt like it's like a prison skate park type of thing. That'd be cool though if they had skate parks in prison. But I mean, I don't think they get those human rights to be able to skate while you're in jail. Just heading down to Overcast Skate right now because I need to grab a grip, scrub, brick thing. You know those things you rub on your grip and it cleans your grip tape? My grip tape is filthy and it's, it's harder to skate when your grip tape is filthy because there's a bunch of dirt and stuff stuck in your grip tape follicles, <laughs> I should say. So I'm about to head down, grab a rub brick and then probably head back home. Sick. So I ended up copying a few choice items from Overcast. I copped this grip tape cleaner brick rub thing through Enjoy, um, eight bucks. There was a guy hanging out in the store and he said you can buy the same thing, but it's for like belt sanders. If you know anyone that works in a wood shop, like you might have like a brother or dad or uncle that works in a wood shop, they might have one of these handy. It's for cleaning the sand belt, so same, same. This one's just marketed towards skateboarders, which is quite smart in my opinion. I copped a shop shirt overcast shop shirt really liked the drawing on the front i want to kind of do more illustrations like this i haven't really shown much of my art to you guys on this channel apart from the small amount of tattooing that's on this channel but yeah really want to get back into drawing there's a bunch of like writing on the back that looks sick and i also copped this fa t-shirt i couldn't i couldn't help myself um he had a bunch of fa stuff in the shop so i needed a cop something i copped this t-shirt it's pretty sick you guys can see i can't really see there we go pretty cool design i like the cherubs those are my purchases from overcast it's good to support local skate shops especially if they're skater owned but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video once again i'm sorry about the poor skating i'm still kind of finding my skate legs out here more skating to come soon i've just got to cop my own car out here you wouldn't know how unbelievably hard it is to buy a car in this country. I didn't, I've never had to work this hard to buy a car in my life. Seems like everyone's trying to sell their cars, but no one's trying to sell their cars type of thing. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on. One quick word before I let you guys go. Before I left Australia, my homie Jake asked me to do a podcast style interview with him over on his channel. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Go and check it out. Jake's a rad dude, makes some cool videos on skateboarding and he's an Australian, so we're trying to boost the YouTube skateboarding thing in Australia. So do me a favor, go on over, watch the video, subscribe to Jake, watch the rest of his videos, and yeah, sweet. That's it. That's all I need to say, guys. See you guys later.